Hey there guys, um, in yesterday's uh, Vision World video, I mentioned if anyone was having problems with the boss, let me know in the comments and I'll do a much more budget rerun on the bosses. Uh, it seems like Mistbomb and Zabble Fair are the ones giving most people problems, so we're going to do reruns on those. Real quickly, I will mention before we start, another boss that people are wondering why they're missing on is Lightgazer, this little eyeball guy. He has evasion, so make sure you gear your physical chainers with either double hand, so they have accuracy, or an accuracy buff from like Roka or Onion Knight or something like that. Um, but for Mistbomb, um, it seems most people don't have Ice Mages or don't have one of the good imbue options like Celeste or Louise or something. Which is not a problem. You can go off element on these bosses and it's it should be for the most part fine. So we're going to go with Terra with the budget run. She's just an older mage. Um, you could use Luna Freya. You could use pretty much any mage you want. Um, as long as they're a decent burster. Uh, so we're going to go off element with Terra. She's a single target unit. Not a problem. AoE is obviously stronger because it is an AoE fight. But single target, totally fine. So we're going to go in here with this team and I'll show the team and explain it after the fact. Um, so this party is uh, pretty budget, very, very budget. We're using just a bunch of seven stars, um, old units, even a free story unit. Anyway, so to start off, we're going to just have Terra right away go into the shift form. And we're going to trance, power, and then whatever. Get her ready for next turn. We're going to use Realm to... Um, we're just going to guard for the moment. Uh, let's see. We're going to guard Biggs and Wedge. The boss does AoE physical, so we're going to Thousand Needles with a unit for AoE Mirage. We've also got an Evasion Provoker with status immunity with Jesse. Jesse's going to triple cast Midgar Special. This is just to fill LB Gauge primarily for herself. Also, the Story Fina. This is just a random Entrust unit. Anyone, anyone with Entrust is fine. We're going to Entrust over to Jesse for next turn. She's going to be our Breaker. Okay, so the boss does single target physical, which is all being evaded and provoked by Jesse, and then an AoE physical that we miraged with Thousand Needles. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and do our burst. First, we're going to use Jesse to do her LB. That's an 80, AoE 87% defense and spirit break, and a 120 all in peril. Um, these bosses have very low stat passive, so the higher break, the better. If you've got Savior of Souls Lightning or Louise for a 90% spirit break, way more damage you're going to be dealing, but we're going with budgets, we're going with Jesse, and Jesse is enough. We're going to use Realm to just rot and peril these guys, so we're going to go ahead and would you pose for a portrait. That's all that really matters. I guess we can, um, let's just, let's, let's just, we don't want to kill ourselves. Let's just would you pose for a portrait. That'll put up a rod and peril because Terra is using one rod. Now we're going to go ahead and cap on the main body. So we're going to go ahead and chain, and we're going to tag chain it with Biggs and Wedge. You can use regular chainers if you'd rather, if you don't want to use the tag chainer, if you don't have Biggs and Wedge. They're not actually covering, they're just here as a budget tag chainer. Let's go ahead and chain on this. We're going to wait for Terra to do that. We're going to send him in. And this should be a damage cap. I didn't quite see the numbers. Um, you know, the, the, the body is now dead. These guys just do single target physical and some status effects. Jesse is provoking and she's immune to all of it, so it's fine. Regis is going to go ahead and double. We'll just do Clarice support and um, King of Lucius Innervation. That's going to refill um, Fina's LB gauge. It won't trust. It also gives AR frames to the party, and we're going to use those single target, uh, I'm sorry, those uh, single wielded AR frames to build the chain. There's the 2.14 um, or higher. Uh, it wasn't like a grand slam dunk. You'll see at the gear at the end, Terra is using absolutely budget gear. So if your gear is better, you're going to overkill by a lot more. Anyway, you'll notice at this point, um, we still didn't do the 100, the 100 count chain score. We're going to do that this turn. So now Terra's back in the base form. She's just going to triple Blazara. Realm is going to triple Chaos Wave Awakened as well. And we're going to just target one of these. Um, we're going to go ahead and just guard Biggs and Wedge. We're going to uh, just LB again on Jesse to refill the breaks. And then we're going to single wield AR frames from um, that Regis gave. This is just to build the chain count score. And single wielded AR is relatively easy to chain. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, you can use, you can get the chain count score any way you want. Uh, this is just an easy way to do it. So two units using AR is 30 and 30 is 60. And then two units triple casting Cast of Awakened is 24 and 24. 
your over 100 count chain score. So we'll go ahead and chain this up, and then we'll use um, AR as well. And there it is, 100 count chain score, pretty done, pretty um, pretty easy to chain. And then again, the bosses just use you know whatever single target stuff and status effects. We're immune to it. We'll just reload these again, and we'll finish off the last body or the last um thing. And there we go. That was pretty simple. Pretty simple. So we damage capped on turn two. Um, turn four clear, not a problem. No damage taken. Uh, off element, old, really old unit Terra. She was even free from um, one of the picks recently, I believe. And yeah, she did all the damage. And there it is. Perfect score on Muspel or Mus, Mus, Muspalm, something like that. Anyway, there it is. Let me go ahead and show you the gear we used. And you can mix and match, you know, as desired. Like I mentioned, um, Lunar Freya is even stronger than Terra. She can do a nice, good burst. Um, I'm using completely, completely cheap gear. If your gear is better, you're fine. You can also use units like, um, you know, Faisalus is naturally Ice Element. Her L LB is AoE. That'd be a great option to finish these. Use um, Neovision's Faisalus as LB. AoE Chain, AoE Cap it. You're going to do 10 billion damage. You're fine. So base form Terra is using... I am using her own STMR, so that is a little bit expensive, but um, everything else is just complete cheap. This is all free gear, free killers, and the base form she's in killers. This is just to chain on and kill the little the little vines afterwards. If you don't if you don't OTK the vines, not a problem. After the body is dead, the vines do basically nothing. Take as long as you need to clear them out. Shift form again, budget build other than her own STMR. Um, you know the Chronicle Rod, some very very cheap. Uh, gear here's a little bit of cheap evocation stuff and LB damage and there's her build and she did 2.5 um, 220 260 225 stats <clears throat> as you see super budget if your gear is better and it should be you'll be doing way more damage Regis basically um, oh yeah a thousand needles because on turn one during setup the boss is an AOE physical we wanted to mirage that that handles it other than that he was just he was honestly here only because he grants AR framing you could replace him with like Bart's or um, Fid or just units that have AR naturally. Or you could change other things like you can do Stardust Ray, you can do, you know, any, any, anything you need to do to get that chain count over 100. I just think that probably the easiest way to do it is single casted AR. So make sure he's not dual wielding because dual wielded AR or triple, triple casted is a lot harder to chain. Single casted AR, very easy to chain. If you remember the old days of Esther's LB, super easy to chain, same concept. Athena, uh, everyone has her. Only reason I picked her is because she has not trust. This is just so we can get Jesse's LB gauge ready easier. Um, obviously, there's there's a hundred ways to get LB gauge filled up quickly. Um, you can use Entrust, you can do things like Ignis, you can use Crestnick. There's a thousand ways to fill LB gauge. But the most direct way is the unit that every single person in the game has is the original Fina. So she entrusted, basically it. Not dual wielding, so she can chain AR with Arden very easily. Jesse, chosen because obviously she's the easiest to build passive provoker. Um, she has high evasion, high provoke naturally. Status immunity, this gear is just you know super cheap. Um, and then her LB is the 87 break and 120 in peril. We don't really need the in peril because um, Terra does her own apparel, but we did want a high spirit break. So, you know, if you don't, you don't want to use Jesse, use someone with a good spirit break. Um, the, the best options are Savior of Souls Lightning or Louise. Other good options are like Coralie has an 87%. Other units do too, but the higher, the better. And if you're not using Jesse, someone else needs to be your passive provoke evasion unit with status immunity. I think it's only poison they do. So you only really need poison immunity. You don't need like full status immunity. Um, no, I'm sorry, poison and sleep. Make sure they're poison and sleep immune. Uh, Biggs and Wedge, Tag Chainer, um, Dual Wielding, Quad Attack, ele Elemental Weapons. Um, that's it. They were just here to cap Terra's LB. They did nothing else. You could use any chainers you want to cap that LB. Realm is just here for the Rod and Peril to boost Terra's damage a little bit. You can replace her with an EX2 Setra Descendant Aerith. If you're using better gear on your DPS, you don't even need a Rod and Peril. Um, and then she chained Chaos Wave Awakened, uh, triple cast with Terra to clean up the vines afterwards. Um, if you, yeah, That's not even required. You could literally just use Terra unchained. It would take longer. But once the body is dead, you can take as long as you want on a spell. Not a problem. And there's Terra. Okay, so yeah, if you don't have Terra, use Lunafreya. If you don't have Lunafreya, 
use NeoBusiness Pfizer list. If you don't have NeoBusiness Pfizer list, use Louise, Yigni, anyone you want. Um, it doesn't need to be AOE. It doesn't need to be ice element. It just needs to be relatively decent damage. And use a big in peril if you're going off element because the bosses do have 90% resist to other elements. Okay, I will build a team for Zabble Fair and we'll see that video soon. See you in a bit.